is cyclohexanol versus phenol. Um, he's going to test you two things here, your knowledge about um, determining the stronger acid and um, your memorization of star structures because he will not give you structures. He'll give you names, which might be an IUPAC name or a um, common name. You have to come up with the picture and then evaluate. So this is your IUPAC name. It's cyclohexanol. You know, it's a six-member ring. OL means that you have an alcohol on, on there. So this is cyclohexanol. Versus you have phenol, which is actually a common name. Um, it's one of your stars. You know, it's a benzene and then OH on top. All right, I'm going to make this a little smaller so we can see it better. Okay, so now first thing you have to decide is what are they? Are they acids or bases? Um, you have this H that could be removed, so they are acids. So like he says, create, create the change and evaluate. Minus H plus, that means they're losing it. Some sort of base is grabbing that H. All right, then I have oxygen with a negative charge. And same thing happens here. I'll have oxygen with a negative charge, except I have these pi bonds inside. All right. so. If these are your acids, then when you make the change, they're going to be the conjugate basis. Now, the uh, direction says which one of these is more acidic. Which one of this is more acidic? Now, if we're making the change and drawing the conjugate basis, you have to find the most stable conjugate base. Again, remember the HCl and Cl example? So HCl was stronger acid and Cl minus was um, weaker base. So we need to find a weaker conjugate base, which means more stable conjugate base, so that the acid it came from becomes more acidic. All right, so let's evaluate these two. Our, our protocol is still going to be the same size, electronegativity, um, resonance, and inductive effect. So the atom that you're worried about is what underwent the change. Don't evaluate this carbon. All right, this is not the carbon that lost the hydrogen, right? Think about the oxygen that lost the, um, that lost the hydrogen. So you're worried about this oxygen with a negative charge oxygen with a negative charge. It's the exact same atom, so your size and electronegativity both will be exactly the same, right? So the next one is resonance. Now let's see, does this one have any resonance? Probably not because everything else is sp3, right? So they cannot have any donation of electron. But this benzene is special. All of the carbons are sp2, so you can easily rotate this negative charge all the way around your ring. So you'll have this is number one resonance. Then you, once you have a negative charge there, it will drop down here and you would be there. This is the second resonance. And then we have a negative charge there. And that comes down. And that's the third resonance structure. All right, so you have, this was your first, second, and third, and the one that was on there originally, the black one. So whenever you have a benzene, remember what I said, you're going to have four altogether resonance, whereas here, no resonance. So this is the first type of resonance problem where you have Resonance versus no resonance. So resonance will win because it will make the structure more stable. So this is more stable 
conjugate base. So the acid it came from is more acidic. Right, so I circled the more acidic um, acid. All right, so I hope this process makes sense. If you practice a lot, you'll get into this habit. Okay, decide what it's, if it's acid or base, make the change accordingly, evaluate the uh, change, which will be either conjugate acid or conjugate base, and then um, find the more stable conjugate acid or conjugate base, so that way where the what it came from would be your um, stronger acid. All right, let's do the next one. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.